Walker has the story. For Carl Jones, today has been a long time coming. I've been using it for over 30 years. The charges mounted, most notably possession of heroin. As he was looking at jail time, Carl was presented with another option that exists in more than 1,500 locations across the U.S., drug courts. His friends told him not to do it. You're not going to like it. They have you doing this and doing that. Four phases, likely at least one year's worth of work, more than 100 group meetings, dozens of drug tests and court check-ins. It's not for the faint of heart. When people come in, they're usually at their worst. In fact, Judge Gregory Jackson says for many people, it's easier to have their misdemeanors go through the regular court system. This is a program that you do because you want to get better. You have to change people, places, and things. This is Jackson's fourth year on the bench for the court, but he rarely discusses why the defendant is there. But we're not talking about the case. I get to talk to them about what's going on in their lives. Jackson monitors treatment. Sometimes he prescribes inpatient treatment or even jail time. Grant Smith of the Drug Policy Alliance says this is the wrong approach. People are no better off going through a drug court than they are being left alone. He believes an addict is better off working with a health professional than a judge. Courtroom is the wrong place to deal with a health issue. The National Association of Drug Court Professionals disagrees. They say recidivism rates are drastically lower for drug court grants, and those courts could also help the nearly 50 percent of inmates who are also addicted to drugs. Without a doubt, it works. This graduate at 50 years old has learned a lesson almost as valuable as getting clean. We cut our own throats before we even give things a try. And he says giving this program a try has been his best choice to date, not only because his charges are dropped, but because he now believes in himself. Reporting in Washington, I'm Alex Miller.